Hi! In this tutorial video I'd like to explain how to deal with if-else procedures by using the new schematic view in MeisterDesigner 2020.5. The scene is presenting an OTS graphic. OTS stands for over the shoulder. Part of the design is a 3D geometry with a rotation. Let me delete the mask and change the shading to see the flat shaded earth as a 3D object. Undo allows me to go back to flat shading and to get back the masking of the composition. My goal is to get a picture change in the background of the graphic every 90 degrees. The picture group in my scene tree allows to use the single child mode in Meister Designer. Single child mode is used to enable object flipbooks to show different objects or containers in a sequence by switching the visibility setting on and off. Now I'm switching to the default layout to use our scene logic layout for a better overview. First, I drag and drop the extension button of the object rotation to my schematic view. The value of the rotation is part of the design. Now I'm connecting the rotation value to a text string of my composition. For a better visual interpretation, I use a mass function. We want no decimal values in this case. I use a prac function for changing precision. Zero for no decimal values and floats internal value. At least I add the degree symbol to the math function. Now I drag and drop the extension button of the single child selector to the schematic view. With the following multiple if-else procedure, I get the picture change for my OTS graphic. I start with a simple if procedure. So if the internal value is smaller or equal 90, I use child 1. For multiple picture changes, I use else if to come to my goal. I save the rest of the function to my notification area of Meister Designer, so I can easily copy and paste the rest of the function to the scripting area of my schematic view. So else if the internal value is bigger than 90 or smaller than 180, use 2. Else if the internal value is bigger than 180 and smaller or equal 270, use child 3 and child 4. If I speed up the rotation, you can see the whole function action. Thanks for watching.